Eclipse is a first-person game focused on utilising modern spatial audio tools and interactive media to create an immersive and enhanced player experience. Human hearing has the innate ability to spatialise sound in three dimensions. However, due to the limitations of loudspeaker setup that have been previously adopted by most domestic and entertainment environments, this ability is very rarely utilised. The entertainment industry is steadily integrating more immersive sound experiences, with height channels being introduced to loudspeaker setups such as Dolby Atmos. However, the limitations of these practices is often that they require multiple transducers for accurate results that are neither cost effective or practical for most consumers. The benefit of Binaura Ambisonics is that the accurate localization of sound can be achieved through a set of basic consumer headphones. As the technology uses HRTFs to render a spherical representation of the sound field through two transducers, accounting for the time difference, spectral filtering and intensity difference between each channel. In order to achieve accurate localization of sound in my game, I have implemented the Google Resonance Audio SDK within my project. Resonance Audio utilizes research and data sets into binaural ambisonics from the University of York and has the benefit of allowing players to experience real-time spatialization of sound through their headsets with low CPU consumption. In Wise, I created an audio bus that contains the Resonance Audio plugin, with the channel configuration set to third-order ambisonics. All 3D sound emitters in Wise are routed to the Resonance Audio child auxiliary bus. In binaural sound localization, there is a problem known as the cone of confusion. The cone represents positions of a sound on the interaural axis that arrive at the listener with the same time delays and relative intensities. The result of this can cause ambiguities in the front and back or top and down localization of the sound source. Due to the spectral filtering of our pinner or visual context, we are usually able to determine the direction of the sound source regardless. However, subtle movements of our head are also used to help reduce the magnitude of error or larger ambiguities. In most first-person games, the player's head rotation is limited to the X and Y axis. However, the use of head tracking in VR games has enabled players to gain rotation of the Z axis also. Combining these three axes in head tracking is known as three degrees of freedom. In order to find an accessible way of implementing head tracking in my game to reduce localization ambiguities, I discovered the iOS app Gyro OSC. This app sends gyroscopic data from your iPhone as OSC messages. To use the messages to control my player, I edited the player script to receive and route OSC messages and convert them to a new vector 3 in the rotate view function. The game features a mixture of indoor and outdoor environments, and in order to realise significant acoustic differences between them, I utilised two components of the Wise Spatial Audio package called AK Room and AK Room Portal. AK Room is designed to create discrete acoustic environments by modelling wall occlusion and assigning aux reverb buses to individual rooms. In Wise, I created an audio bus called Rooms, with each room auxiliary bus attached underneath. By selecting Use Game Defined Aux Sends, Wise automatically assigns the corresponding auxiliary bus based on which room the player is in. Each auxiliary bus contains a wise room verb plugin that models each room effectively. Notice that early reflections are switched off, which is something that will be covered later. In order to link different rooms together seamlessly, AK Room Portal can be used to model openings and doorways between rooms. 
The highlighted yellow boxes contain true colliders and the portal component, displaying an area in which sound can be diffracted between rooms. This only works when the portal is connected to two discrete rooms, which in most cases is a warehouse and the outside environment. In order to test the rooms and portals, I created a looping fire sound attached to a barrel in the warehouse. In the actor mixer hierarchy for 3D emitters and wires, the main output is assigned to the room's audio bus, and the auxiliary sends contain a routing to the resonance audio pipeline. In the positioning tab, listener relative routing is assigned and enable diffraction is selected so that the sound source can be spatialized and interact with other spatial audio game objects. By default, WISE implements strong low-pass filter values to occluded sounds, however to increase realism I reduce the strength of these settings. Using the 3D viewer in the WISE profiler, the green lines display the ray trace of the sound source being diffracted by the portals towards the listener. Each portal is displayed as a translucent black frame. You can hear that when the player moves away from the portal, the sound becomes more occluded and the perceived location of the sound shifts towards the portal. Wise Reflect is a plugin that is used to model real-time early reflections by calculating geometry and absorption coefficients of the surrounding environment. This effect improves the accuracy of the direct to reverberant sound ratio, increasing distance perception of sound sources. The Reflect plugin is assigned to its own auxiliary and audio bus in Wise and contains a settings page that can be used to control its properties. Any sound emitter that exists in 3D space can utilize the effect by assigning the Reflect auxiliary bus to the early reflections tab on the general settings. Reflect will generate up to fourth order early reflections that are accurate to their surrounding and position offset from the listener. It's for this reason that early reflections are turned off in the room assigned reverbs. The WISE AK Surface Reflector component is used on game objects to send their geometry and absorption profiles to WISE. The geometry data is sent using the object's mesh, and the absorption data is assigned using acoustic texture profiles made in WISE. As a metal texture did not already exist, I researched metal absorption coefficients online in order to generate my own. Once my acoustic texture was assigned, I previewed the effect in the WISE profiler. The yellow lines display the early reflection paths of the fire sounds to the player inside of the warehouse. You can also hear the effect is still audible outside of the room due to the precise warehouse mesh. In the game there are many objects that can obstruct the direct sound path from sources to the listener. The WISE AK Surface Reflector can also be used on objects to model occlusion and diffraction in order to disturb and affect these sound transmission properties during gameplay. When enable diffraction is on, the component enables sound to diffract around the edges of the object mesh, and the occlusion value allows for a portion of the sound to be absorbed by the object. In the warehouse, doors and gates block sound transmission through the portals due to their high occlusion value. In future development, I plan to make these doors interactive so that they have an active interaction between room portals. It's clear to hear and see the effect of these objects in the profiler, with each mesh displayed in the assigned colour of their acoustic texture. The purple lines display the diffraction path of sounds around objects. Notice that with the bags, the fire gets diffracted around all four edges of the object. Due to the high load of game assets using the AK Surface Reflexor, I decided to break the map down into additive scenes that could be loaded using triggers. The problem I encountered, however, was that when loading these scenes, I often experienced voice starvation, causing very notable dropouts and clicks in the audio. After researching possible causes of voice starvation, I discovered that the error is caused by the audio buffer not being able to process all of the audio within a frame. The effect is often caused by high voice counts, but after monitoring my voice count in WISE, I was able to confirm that this was not the case. Instead, the audio buffer is overloading due to a high level of geometry data fed into WISE when a scene is loaded. Often this results in peaks at around 500% CPU. 
My system running a 3770K i7 handles the game much better once it's been compiled, but the effect is still noticeable. However, after testing the game on newer desktop and laptop systems running Ryzen 5 CPUs, I experienced no dropouts or clicks at all. After researching optimization strategies for spatial audio and wires, I discovered that the components with the AK surface reflector can optionally be associated to an AK room, meaning that wires won't attempt to make any raycasts of the object unless the player is in the same room, thus reducing the global geometry calculations. Therefore, in future development, I will attempt to make smaller rooms to test if this optimization fixes the voice starvation issue.